Hi, hello, welcome. Uh, my name is Juan Carlos Salgado. I'm the director of the War Archery Excellence Center, and welcome back to another episode of Coach Me. Okay, let's let's watch the video of Onu Asri Puade, and uh, I will take a look and see what I can do for you. Okay, Onu, and I watched your video. Congratulations, very good quality of the of the filming. So that's helped me a lot, and I could identify the things that I really like and the things that I think you can improve. Okay, so first of all, what I like, you have a very nice sequence of the shot. You make the sequence from the start to the end, very consistent, very fluid, good movement. Don't stay too much stuck. It's not aiming too hard. So this is really good. Keep it. Don't lose it. The sequence is important, and you have a good rhythm. The second part I like very much is your anchor position is really solid, no platform, and you are fixing the finger on the face, which is for me the right way to do it, it's more accurate, so this I like it as well very much. And third part I like is just expansion, you are easy moving through the clicker, which is also very good and will help you a lot in future. I'm sure what you are looking for is what you could improve, okay, so let me tell you three things that I think can help you to become more consistent and a, and a better archer. The first one is in the setup, the preparation of the movement, and you rise and you pull, you make too much movement of the body. In my way to see archery, we have to be stable and we just rise the arm and come, but head, hips, body should be straight. Your movement is a little bit pulling, pushing, and moving the head down. All what is moving the head, you are moving the arrow, the head, the back of the arrow, and the precision comes that this distance is consistent. As soon as this is moving up and down, even you aim in the center, arrows go up and down. I guess in your grouping, you will have arrows going in the center and some of them high. This is coming because you move down, you make the head down. So my first advice is work with a mirror, with a tablet, a video, a delay video, and observe that you fix your position, you bring in your ear and nothing moves. The head should not move when you look the anchor. You come, you find your position, you move through it without moving head, without moving hips, okay? The second advice for me, it's your expansion. Your expansion is really good, but it's based very much in pulling and not pushing, okay? So you come in your position, you start pulling, 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 and when you release, it's coming back. The shoulder coming back and your arm, in fact, is coming in. Okay, we want to keep pushing the target. What I would suggest to you is you come in your position and try to feel a bit more in the bow. You're a little bit out which means when you pull, you're pulling in this direction. Okay, you go a bit more in, you be more aligned, and when you pull, you attack a bit the target, you go through the target. The goal is that both parts, left and right shoulder, work in a 50-50% on imbalance. Right now, you are building tension here. This one, you keep it quiet. When you shoot, you make like this. So you bring everything a bit back. Okay, so that's the second thing important. Try to go more inside the bow line, and when you feel aligned, you pull, and start attacking the target. When you finish, you should finish here, seeing the target face there. Now, right now you see it on this side, okay? So, and the third one, I would say, is in your, in your release when you follow through. When you make the follow through, you try to do it very explosive. It's a second movement. Just try the movement to make it large and the clicker sounds keep it quiet. Like, you finish in a position and not just releasing and trying to bring the hand. It's a second movement, okay?
but to make it very fast keep your stable keep the body stable and the head stable and you make the movement without adjusting anything in your body second try to be more inside the bow and attack the target a little bit after starting with the uh, pulling you go pushing finishing in a straight direction to the target and not in not collapsing and third one try to make a long expansion and when the clicker sounds keep it short try to keep it quiet and not make a second if you improve these three parts i'm sure your grouping will be better and you will feel more confidence with your shot it will take some time i expect like three four weeks that you manage it but after three four weeks of practice watching in a video watching a mirror i'm sure you will get it all the best good luck and I hope to see you around.